Okay, let's play uh, some of this more of this game. Yeah, I don't remember. I haven't played it in forever. I'm going to do casual. I'm a filthy casual. Cool. All right. Well, let's... I'm going to switch over to the um, A469. <clears throat> A469 a little bit. And uh, I'm actually going to move this around a little bit. So, my phone, if you're watching this video, um, my phone is, uh, yeah, there we go. My phone is an ultra-wide phone, um, which is normal. Most phones are 20 by 9 or 21 by 9. Uh, my phone's screen resolution is 20 by 9. It's 1600 by 720. And the problem with that is those black bars that we have on the uh, video here. So, um, I, I simply can't get around that. My phone is, when it's tilted sideways, it's it's 21 by 9, or 20 by 9, excuse me. So, yeah, you guys see, you guys actually see a lot more than I do on my phone. My phone is, um, the screen isn't that great. It sucks ass, and I don't like it. But you didn't come here to watch me fucking talk about my phone. Fuck. I don't even know where we're going. <laughs> Let's look at the map. Let's go here. Shit, this thing cruises in this version. We went through a water crossing. Oosh. Alright, listen, that was... That was good looking for a phone. And I don't even have a good one. the watchtower. Some fucking moves in uh, Mud Runner, dude. All right, we unlocked the B sixty six, three seventy five. Let's go here. I don't think we have to drive up next to it in the mobile version. Let's try going there. Okay, well, I don't want to drive over there and deal with that shit, so... The cruise control feature is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. This really does look very good. Ooh, that's fast moving. Boom. Show that river who's boss. Oh shit, my my GPS points are um Okay, that's interesting. There's the log station. 
I think that's got garage points on it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check it out. Yeah, what is this? What do we have? Fuel garage utility tent. Okay. So there's probably one garage point on this. It's okay, this thing's fucking terrible. I'm probably not going to use it. I don't like this truck at all. Even though it does have an always on. Um, I don't even know where the garage is. Or the other garage. Oh, shit. Well, that's handy. It just tells you where the garage is. Okay. Uh, so what's the point of the, the watch points then? Other than to, like, see the terrain. Because, you know... All right, well, let's just get back into the uh, other truck. And get this boat on the road, huh? Ooh. That's annoying. The, um... Bluetooth on this mirror cast does that sometimes, and it is very loud. Where it just like glitches and fucks up a little bit. some of that fucking orange mud right here, though. I like that orange mud, man. You sink so quick into that shit, dude. Take a look at what we revealed. Oh, okay, so there's one of those big ass fucking roads right here. This right here. Just a logging trail. Those things are terrible to drive these trucks on, these little tiny cars on. So we're gonna oops, we're gonna go along the beach and head over to this garage and fuel station, and then it looks like that watch point is on top of something. I don't know, I can't tell. Just gonna keep chugging along at it though. gets a little squirrely. Still amazed at how this is a fucking mobile game, my dude. Oh shit.
Okay. Must be on the beach or something, I don't know. Oh, there it is. So keep an eye out for fucking... Uh... Stumps. That's fast moving. So the watch point is here. So we're just gonna go. See what happens. Okay, so instead of digging holes, it just kind of textures the ground a little bit. Alright, I see how that works. Which is fine, because honestly, dude, this game is extremely demanding, so... Instead of, um, like, digging ruts, it shows a different texture. Like, these right here are ruts. Yep, yeah, those are ruts. Okay, that's fine. Might dig a little bit here and there, but... I guess I'd have to be fucking hammering through it. I do like the water physics though, that pleases me.
The watch point is to my left. Okay, well, let's... I don't know how deep this river is. Maybe we can just drive along it. Oh, it's on the other side. See if we can cross right here. The edge is not very happy. Objective. No. All right, not bad. Oh, hey guys. I guess we're going to play some more of that mud runner. After I beat up Mike again. Um, we're actually going to continue on the island. I don't have, um, my phone fan charged up right now, so, um, the, we won't really be able to play that long. Oh, that's right, it's night time. Okay, um, what are we going to do? Can I explore the map to unlock other trucks? Hmm. Oh, I drove right past it too, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, where are we? Alright, we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna unlock that truck. Uh, there's a building in my way. Oh. Big ass rocks over there, man. Pretty sure this is a bad idea with this teeny tiny little truck. Normally you don't really want to exceed, like, if you're off-roading, like, in real life, you don't want to exceed, you know, as far as tire death goes, you really don't want to go past, like, your hubs, because that means your axles are dragging. So, it's kind of a bad idea to put yourself in a position like that, you know, you might get stuck. Rock. So I, I noticed something about this game that's a little different than um, like the mainline game is that uh, there's no, at least that I can see, there's no tire flex and uh, no um, like I haven't noticed any like body roll or anything as well. That's absent. So that's. Some nerd shit for you. I don't remember how to shut the engine off. Oh, okay. Oh, this thing is almost out of gas and it's beat up. Okay, so we got this. 
This is a hardcore truck too, man. Ah, uh, what is this? It's a tractor. What is this? Oh, that thing sucks ass. What's this? Oh, here's the lumber truck. Oh, it has a trailer camera. What's this? Oh, it's at the garage. What about this? Also at the garage. Okay, so we need to get logs to that lumber mill. We can't go through that, that block post right here. There's a log station and kiosk over here. There's more here. It's a locked garage. Okay, so we have a total of 16 logs to deliver. And it looks like we have to do it off-road as well. So, which wasn't too bad. This route that I took, if you're following the little dot, this route that I took, like, here, was, um, for the scout, it wasn't too hard. So more capable trucks could get through it. I don't know if they'll sink, but it wasn't too hard. I don't know this route. Um, but, you know, maybe we'll run the scout over there to figure it out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to unlock that garage. So we're going to grab, uh, probably the 131. Yeah, we'll take the 131. Where's the fuel at in this map? Is there fuel in this map? Okay, the fuel station is right next to that garage. Okay, we're going to take this truck, we're going to, is it this button? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, we need the trailer hitch. Install. Yeah, why not? I think we'll put a fuel cistern on this as well in a little bit. Okay, so we've got some stuff on it. Oh, I hate that I gotta do this at night. Ooh, this truck fucking starts up instantly in this game. That's nice. Huge fan of that. Oh, wait. Where are we even going? Let's set up a... And follow the road all the way to here. To the garage. Okay. Yes, we can. All right. This truck is pretty capable, it's just slow. Honestly, I could have done this run with the, uh, the regular rear-wheel drive truck if I just had somebody pull it up the hill real quick. Pretty sure we don't even need all-wheel drive through here. Anyways, I don't have the fan attached to the phone today, so um, I can't play it for very long. I'll have to uh, set it down and let it take a break because I have my phone case on it. It's 
stuff. Oh shit. God damn it. I accidentally hit the steering when I went to do the zoom out thing. That was awesome. Ugh, the buildings. So the problem with this phone that I have is that it's ultra wide. Um, it is 1600 by 720, I think, is my screen resolution. Um, which is annoying because the, uh, um, I mean, you can see that it's it's got, like, black bars on, on your end, but uh, on my end, the, the viewpoint is very, very vertically narrow, so, like, I can't look far ahead, but I can look at the sides of the screen, you know. through here. Sides of the screen are fucking visible as hell, man. Let's see how deep this is. The trailer's getting some side-to-side -side action. Yeah, so I noticed there's no tire flexing. Uh, and it doesn't look like chassis flex either. I don't even think the fifth wheel plate moves. So there's no physics aside from like the axles um, on these trucks, which is fine. That that's this is on a phone, <laughs> so you know, not having that is uh, definitely good for you know frame rates and stuff. Hmm. There's that. Hmm. Well, the phone's hot. Got to stop for a minute. That sucks. It was only 12 minutes of uh, capture, and then I have to stop. Okay, so I just drove one of my trucks all the way over to the fucking garage, only for the fucking capture chip to like completely crash on me while I was doing this. So it may have something to do with the fact that I don't have my fan plugged in. But um Yeah, it's super annoying when that shit happens, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Uh anyway, so I took this um truck that was sitting here all the way over here. What we're gonna do is um we're going to outfit this truck with um, a four-point log cart. We're actually going to turn it around um, first. I don't need to have the diff lock on. Or I mean, excuse me, all-wheel drive. I don't need that. wrong button. So now we're going to look up to make sure the recording is still going and then we're going to look back down and um, we're going to uninstall that, uninstall that. Uh, what? Oh, here it is. So, oh, that does, it's got a crane as well. That's cool. What do I need to do this? We need the log carrier. OK. 
Okay, it does six. Whoa, that's big. Can we... Okay, maybe we gotta turn the truck on first. Pack a cart. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's switch over to the other C255. Ah, wrong button. Still getting used to this. We're gonna do a log carrier. Long log cart. Can we put a spare tire on? Oh, we can. Cool. Okay. Let's pack this cart too. Uh, let's switch over to the other truck and put a spare tire in it real quick. No, oh, this one. Yes. Oh, there's more. Yeah. Oh, it's a utility trailer down there. Okay. Cool. Alright, so now we've got six logs. Uh, for two of the stations. And then, um... Let's look at the map real quick. I think I might have to have, uh... Outfit a different truck with some stuff. Um, that'd be 131. That would work. Yeah, let's do the B131. All right, let's outfit this one with a. Uh, um, where is it? Pull that off. Uh, it's a short log trailer. No, we gotta pull the spare wheel off as well. Okay, let's put that on there. Alright. Um, so, we're gonna use this to haul some logs to both of the stations real quick. Um, so, the log station and kiosk is up this little road here. This way. Here. Looks like it's in a hole, too, so the ground might be super soft. Uh, oops, hello? come back out and then we're going to uh we'll probably head yeah let's let's cross the river or i mean cross the road there and uh go through here to here and then we'll cross some river and we'll cross more river, I think. Possibly, I don't I don't know. It's grayed out and I don't really remember it. And we will head to this lumber mill. Alright, let's see how this goes. Probably zoom in a little bit. All right. So the body stuff does flex and roll. Murky ass mud right there. A little bit of pavement right here, surprisingly. I wonder if 
it's gonna make me um is it gonna make me oh it automatically loads it okay that's neat cruise control feature is super nice. Kind of wish I had it for um, the PC uh, version of SnowRunner. The gas rock right there. It's getting hung up. Yeah, shit that I can't see. Audio glitched uh, through the recording. this water crossing. Fast water. Mm. It's gray like it's old volcanic ash or something like that. I don't I've never seen volcanic ash in real life, so I don't know what color it is, but I would assume it's gray. Either that or this place is on the moon and it's moon rocks, which I've also never seen and I'm going to assume is also gray. Okay, so my theory about the sand looking stuff there is that it's not sinking, so it might be easier to navigate than I was thinking, because it didn't sink right away, and earlier I mentioned, you know, well, I've never driven a heavy vehicle on the beach. We'll find out when I get those big six log trucks rolling, though. there too, so that's pretty neat. Yeah. Cool. Let's look at the map. What was I going to do next? Uh, now we've got to take some logs over there. Well, I guess let's just hit the road and uh, do exactly that. Let's go across the beach, man. That sounds pretty cool right now. And then, uh, yeah, let's just go along the beach to there. And then that'll take me there. 
I'm gonna look through here. Past my truck that's sitting in the fucking way. Yeah, that should take us there. about fuel yet. This version of the game is just genuinely surprising. It keeps fucking surprising me. Like, there's water physics out there and stuff, and there's water physics quite a bit of ways away from where your character is at. So, that just surprises the shit out of me. God damn it. It's so fucking inconvenient. I went to reach up with my other thumb to fucking do this and turn the camera a little bit and I just fucking slammed straight into a pole. Cause this fucking shit right here, steering bar.
probably grab some repair points off of that B-66 sitting up there. Oh, that was instant. Nice. Oh, that's not the B-66. That's the, uh... Other truck. I thought it was that really piece of shit fucking Mercedes thing. Is this the same road? Or did I just take a wrong turn? Yeah, I took a wrong turn because I'm fucking dumb. Alright, we gotta go back this way. It was the B-66. I just drove right past it. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just take this over to the logs. Or the lumber mill and then call it good. For this truck, anyways. They even have the air suck, like, in front of the truck, like, right in front of the hood right here. That's pretty neat. So I took my fucking rubber case off of my phone, um, and it prolonged getting hot by almost 10 minutes, but it is actually getting really so I'm going to have to stop here in a minute. This game is... I don't mean to curse it, but this game is actually really easy on the phone. I wonder if there was like a difficulty balancing, or if the fact that the tires don't transform uh, inherently makes the game easier. You know, it makes me wonder if the terrain deformation is easier. Um, to navigate on purpose, or if it's just, you know, easy. I don't know, I've been playing a lot of SnowRunner lately. That game is crushingly hard in, um, uh, the Cosmo, or the Cosmo, Cosmodrome, um, map. I think it's called Amandra. It is extremely difficult. I uh, took a scout out to one of the maps, and, uh, or no, it wasn't even a scout, it was just a regular, it was a small off-road class truck. Um, and I was cruising to the next waypoint, or watchtower, um, you know, just moving right along, and, uh, got stuck in the easy to break ice and um no it it was a scout because I had an autonomous switch it was flipped upside down and I was I was using like trees that break off I was using those to drag my truck towards a rock so that I could try to flip it well it flipped and then it kept going and it got stuck in a way that um it crushed the tree that I was winching on so I was like man fuck this game it sucks dick Yeah. Okay. Cool. We have uh, unloaded the small points to the um, lumber mills. So now we're going to back this out of the way. Park it right here. Shut it off and quit the game for a while and let my phone cool off. Because uh, apparently I have to keep doing that, so.
Yeah. Alright, so... We drove this truck a little bit. My capture fucked up. Uh, I made a video about that, but... I don't want to put that in here, it's just bitching. So, let's uh, hopefully... Fucking... Play this game. Hopefully we don't have to get gas on this one because uh, these trucks take a lot of fuel on the PC version. I don't know about like this. I wish you could, like, um, turn or rotate. That would be really nice. But you can't really do that, though. through that way because um, this road right here is already tore up pretty good. It's going to be really soft. So. Let's go ahead and stop right here. Make a plan on uh, how we're going to attack this. Looks like there's a little road right here that I can take. So we're going to go that way out, and then we're going to head this way. We'll just take the beach all the way back, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. Let's just drive along the beach with all these logs. <laughs> Alright, let's unpack that cart. Hopefully it unpacks correctly. Okay. Logs. Nope. Bingo. Alright. Hopefully the recording doesn't die while I'm playing this again like it just did a little bit ago. That would be very, you know, borderline convenient. Long low for such a uh, let's put it on the trailer. Whoa. Okay, let's move it back to the front. That's something else that's not present in this game is um, inside cameras, which is fine. In I never used it. I was just like, oh, there's inside camera, cool, and then I promptly ignored it. Still going though, so <laughs> most of this video is at night, which is fucking terrible to watch, but what are you gonna do? 
You should just screen and play it for me. I feel like this is a lot easier than it should be. Like, uh, like there's a terrain information balancing change that I'm not aware of. Or that I am aware of subconsciously one or two, I don't really know. It just feels easy, man. I mean, I've been playing spin tires since I uh, got a demo from a buddy of mine back in like 2015. And I've been enjoying it since I really got into the first spin tires when I bought it on PC uh, in 2017. That, that game is a blast. Right? This is the last river crossing and then the log station is up here in front of the garage. I think that's the garage rendering in the distance. Surprisingly, it didn't use as much fuel as I thought it was going to. Might be able to take this truck and um, drive it over to the next log station and, and deliver it without having to um, fire up the other truck. I'm still amazed at how this runs on a, on a phone. And my phone is overheating right now as well, so the fact that it's still maintaining this level of playability when the game is throt or the phone is throttling itself is just surprising. I don't have my fan installed and I didn't take my phone case off like I did the last time I played. So yep. Boom. It's all eight. Cool. Uh, so the lumber mill is over there. Let's see if we can turn here and get to there. So let's pack this trailer. We're trying to save a little bit of fuel. We might try to do this whole job with just the one truck. Um, or the one 255. kind of ran it in there and not give a fuck. I don't know how deep that water is, but we're about to find out. Shit, that was nothing. My crippled ass could probably jump over it. Dumbass. Yeah, there it is, right over there. 
Oh, yeah, it's plow right through it. It ain't nobody's business, man. Like, it's my business. All right. Um, excuse me. So, our exit is on the left. Right? Oh, this is the lumber mill. Fuck me, I'm stupid. So now we gotta go... Oops. We've gotta go this way. See, I thought the whole time that where I was driving was the fucking... <laughs> uh, that's funny. Alright, so we gotta follow the road on our left. And, uh... Stay with it to get here. And then go across to here to there. Okay. I thought this was the fucking log kiosk, because I'm it's not paying attention, I guess. This is the mill. This is where the logs have to go. So, we're going to go ahead and... We're definitely just going to do it with the one truck. There's no sense in using the rest of the equipment. I do want to point out that the K700 there is no longer present in uh, Mud Runner as of the last time I played it due to whatever copyright issue, Saber Interactive, and um, maybe not Saber, but um, uh, I think it's Uvi in the UK. Um, and the creator of Spin Tires is arguing about some bullshit and we get to fuck about. all it does is screw us. Like, when you just have poof, your content's gone overnight because they no longer have the license for it. That's just some fucking bullshit, man. I really think that digitally distributed files should be the same as physical media files in the sense that as it's printed, it's as is. They shouldn't be fucking around with bullshit. Rockstar is completely 100% at fault for letting that shit become the standard. And uh, they're the guys that really pushed it and got popular for doing so that I am aware of. Because they removed a whole bunch of music from uh, their earlier games as well as Grand Theft Auto 4. No, oh, that was an earlier game too. That's an older one. You know, but they just because they no longer hold the license for it, um, there was updates that you were receiving to remove music tracks, and um, for GTA 3, if I recall correctly, they did add in different tracks, but the point is, that game wasn't sold as a live service. Like, that, that game was sold as is, just like every other game. It should be just sold as is. You can't modify, you know, to remove content and stuff like that. We bought it so that we would have content like that, you know? Yeah, that's just stupid. that spare wheel to fix a piece of the truck. Nice. Okay. Something is blocking the area. Oh, nice. It's about fucking time. I had to back all the way the fuck up just for you to do that. Like, really? Damn, man, maybe I'm just angry today. I mean, I got a lot of problems, so... I won't be going back to work this year because of what's happening, so... 
which sucks because I wanted to be back to work this year, but due to DOT being fucking stupid about their bullshit, the fact that I have to get another surgery, and the fact that I'm not fucking... Just irritated, man. Just irritated. Yeah, I'm aware that the blog post is blocked, so... This way... To here... To here... Across the river... Just follow this road... All the way there... Oh, it's gonna be an interesting turn. That trailer's gonna ride right up on there. We made it. Oh, can't see through the tree. It's going high. As we get up here, we'll have to go back into regular. Oh, we might be able to power through this right out. So, when you see all that mud being thrown, that means that the tires are slipping. I mean, duh, right? But, like, in the sense that you should lay off the throttle in this game. Uh, it does the same thing in SnowRunner. If you start seeing mud, if you just back off the throttle a little bit, you'll actually grab more traction, even though you're going slower. Um, with the throttle, you'll be going faster in the long run. It's kind of silly, you know? thinking about it that way because uh being in being that you're in, in michigan we uh our mud is is slippery and tacky um as well as the fact that you know winter we have like snow and shit so you kind of want to maintain speed through it because the minute you slow down is the minute you're fucked so it, it's kind of counterintuitive with the way this game um posts its terrain physics uh, it goes against basically everything that you hold dear in your Michigan mindset as far as traversing mud and snow and dirt and goes. It's either tacky or super. It's not um, the mud. It's not. Uh, we don't get mud like uh, out west where it's orange and um, almost like cement down south where it just cakes. Um, out here it's tacky and then it just falls right off. So it's got like more sand in it I'm going to assume. In most areas anyways that I would not talk in. So, yes. Oh, sweet. Hour and 26 minutes into this. Kilometers almost. Uh, only rescued once. Six stars. Nice. Not bad. Uh, 102 liters of fuel to go 10 kilometers. That's. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much fuel that is in American or English or whatever. That's some foreign shit. It's probably some made up metric to go with Australia and how made up they are. We all know that Australia isn't real. Come on, guys. Nobody could have a, c a country on the bottom of the ice shelf. What the fuck? On the planet disc? Anyways. Ah. Mm, coffee. That was the island. This game is really good, and right now my phone is, is throttling super hard. Like, this was really good. It ran well. Other than the issues with uh, my my capture setup and my my device, the game is running great for what it is. Like I'm impressed. I want to make more of these uh, because I can. So if you're into that autistic shenanigans, I guess you should come back. Oh man. So I purchased that DLC that the shop was selling in here. Oh yeah, that's right, I have my internet off. So that fucking mirror plug doesn't run a whole bunch of ads onto my phone. Um, I purchased the DLC here 
for this game. Uh, the game was like five bucks, and then the DLC was another five, so it was ten bucks total. Which, compared to the Mud Runner that I'm familiar with on PC and Switch, um, it's like a third of the price. <laughs> so, for what you get here, compared to other games on a mobile platform, compared to um, other versions or or other ports of this game, I should say. Or no, this would be another version, because uh, the original, I don't think, runs on Unity. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure this version runs on Unity, so it's an entirely different game with the Mud Runner. Everything on it. Yeah, what I said about autistic shenanigans. You should come back if you want to hear more of that shit. I'll see you in the next one.